there was a monk who joined a monastery and all of the monks took a vow of silence. They could only speak two words per year. So this new monk, after a year, he had two words to speak. So he said to the bishop, bed hard. At the end of the second year, he had two words he could speak. He said, food bad. At the end of the third year, he said, room cold. Finally, at the end of his fourth year, he could speak two words and he said, I quit. The bishop said, well, I'm not surprised. All you've done is complain ever since you've been here. <laughs> well, uh, today we look not at a monk uh, taking a vow of silence, but we look at a priest who could not speak for nine months. Do you remember why? We're in Luke chapter one, and last Monday we talked about uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth. Uh, this is the other miraculous birth we talk about at Christmas, not the birth of Jesus, but the birth of John the Baptist. Uh, the couple was elderly. Uh, Elizabeth was barren. Uh, they had prayed for so many years to have children, but, but there were no children ever going to be born to them because like I said, by now they're, they're quite elderly. But when, when Zechariah goes into the temple, an angel, Gabriel, appears to him and tells him that he's going to have a son. But he questioned the angel. And, 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 and because he questioned Gabriel, Gabriel said, you will not speak. You will not speak until it comes to pass. And, 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 and so now we're all the way uh, to the end of the story, to, to the exciting part of the story, uh, beginning in Luke chapter 1 verse 57. Uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she's pregnant now as well. She has been visiting with Elizabeth, her relative, for the last three months. And then in verse 57, uh, it, it, the Bible says it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby and she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy and they, they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child. They were going to name him after his father, Zechariah. The Jewish boys would not be named until uh, their circumcision, which would be after eight days. His father's name was Zechariah, so they, they assumed he'll be named Zechariah. Typically, the child would be named after a, a relative or a family member. So, so we'll name him Zach Jr. But his mother spoke up and said, no. No, he will be called John. Why? Remember, uh, nine months earlier, the angel had told Zechariah in the temple to name him John. And they said, but there's no one in your, uh, among your relatives who has that name. And, and so then, verse uh, 62, they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. Okay, why are they making signs to Zechariah? He's mute, but he's not deaf. He can hear. Nevertheless, their baby name, what name, babe? They're making signs to Zechariah. He, he could have heard them if they just spoke. And so he asks for a tablet. And the Bible says he, he wrote down on this tablet, to everyone's astonishment, his name is John. Not his name will be John, but his name is John. It's a settled fact. The angel told me, and that is his name. Now watch what happens. Verse 64, immediately his mouth was opened. Remember, he hasn't been able to speak for 40 weeks. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue was set free and he began to speak, praising God. A couple of thoughts. There were nine months of silence for Zechariah. And during this Christmas season, there's so much hustle, there's so much bustle, there's so much busyness, there's so much noise. Even though it was God's rebuke uh, telling Zechariah he could not speak, it, have you ever just taken a moment of silence to reflect on what God did 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem? Uh, the Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. It's a really good verse for us during the Christmas season when we're rushing around to be still. Maybe to take some time just to be silent before the Lord and reflect on what he did in Bethlehem. And, and then a, a, a second thought I have is just 
the blessings that come our way when we obey God. It, it says the moment, immediately after he wrote his name as John, his mouth was opened and he began to praise the Lord. He's on, writing it down on the tablet. His name is John, J-O-H-N. The minute he finished drawing the N, his mouth was opened. He hadn't been able to speak for nine months, but now that he could, he used this ability to give praise to Almighty God. And, and tomorrow, don't miss tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up the story and we'll see that the Spirit of God fills Zechariah and he actually writes a song. I, I wish somebody would put it to music today. It, it, it would have been a best uh, top 10 hit. It is a song praising God. That'll be tomorrow. But for today, take some time alone with God. Press into some silence and reflect on what he's done. And remember that when you obey him, he's always, always going to respond with blessing in your life. This coming Saturday, Christmas Eve at Milton Frank Stadium, if you live in North Alabama, I don't care how cold it is, bundle up, meet me at the stadium, and lives will be changed.